What is a sedimentary rock and what makes it unique when compared to other types of rocks? First off, we need to know what the other types of rocks are. There are three general classifications of rocks. First, sedimentary rocks. Second, metamorphic rocks. And third, igneous rocks. Each of these types of rocks has their own characteristics, their own ways that they're formed, and their own ways to be identified. We're going to look at sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks make up about three quarters of all of the rocks on the Earth's surface. They also preserve a historic record of the environment at the time of their formation and are the only rocks that contain fossils. Sedimentary rocks are most often formed from pieces or chunks of other rocks. These pieces come in various sizes and are referred to as clasts. Sedimentary rocks can be made from mineral crystals and even organic material, such as bones, skeletons, shells, or even plants. All sedimentary rocks form through five basic steps. These are weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, and lithification. Let's look at each of these steps individually. The first step is weathering. This is the breaking apart of larger rocks into smaller pieces that can eventually be reformed into sedimentary rocks. Weathering takes place in lots of ways. For example, wind, water, ice, or gravity, or a number of other forces cause rocks to break into smaller pieces. The next step is erosion. Erosion is the movement or transportation of the pieces or clasts of rocks. Again, there are lots of ways that rocks can be moved, such as wind, water, ice, or gravity. And these two steps, weathering and erosion, often take place at the same time. The third step in the process of forming a sedimentary rock is deposition. Each rock that's moving or being transported must come to a stop. This happens in deposition. This is where the clasts or pieces of rocks come to a rest on a surface. For example, this could happen on a riverbed, at the bottom of a rock slide, or where a river lets out into the ocean. Anytime a rock comes to rest or settles on a surface, it's known as deposition. Over the years, as more and more rocks or clasts are deposited, we get the fourth step, which is compaction. As these layers pile up, the rocks underneath become compacted closer and closer together. This removes a lot of the space that's between these pieces of rock. And this is done as more and more weight is layered on top of the rocks. This brings us to our fifth and final step, which is lithification. Lithification takes place as minerals dissolved in water seeps into the spaces between rocks. These minerals work to cement or glue these clasts together. The process of cementing these rock pieces together is lithification. That describes the five processes required to make any sedimentary rock. Again, those are weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, and lithification.